This is Terry Fletcher. I met uh, Felicia Stansel about two and a half, three years ago when she was at Marion. And uh, we kind of reconnected. Uh, she's going through some big stuff right now in training. And then she's been coming to me for massage. And I wanted to like uh, interview her a little bit and um, share with like a lot of my friends, you know, what the heck is BMX? And um, I'm gonna have Felicia talk about BMX and how long does it take you to get down the track and all that fun stuff. Hi, I'm Felicia Stansel, elite woman. Welcome to Supercross BMX. Yes, so BMX racing is a 30 to 45 second race. Um, there are eight people on the track at once and then there's dirt jumps and it's pretty much the first person to get to the finish line wins. Um, so it's very exciting and um, there's a lot that goes on within like the 30 to 45 second race. Um, and there's two uh, different types of racing. So there's uh, the USA BMX racing, which I did at Mary University. That's where I went to college for. Uh, then there's the Olympic level racing. And that's what I do now. Um, I do a little of both, but I, right now I'm more focusing on the Olympic style tracks because the Olympics are coming up. So um, yeah, there's two different types. The Olympic one it has a uh, eight meter starting hill, which is uh, brings more speed, bigger jumps. And, it's like 24 feet. Um, it's very, <laughs> very high. And then the first jump is bigger as well because you have that, uh, you have more speed to go with it. So um, yeah, they're both challenging in their own ways. Um, and I like to, I like to do both of them. I just think they're both a different challenge and they're both fun. Awesome. So what do you think more is more important, physical or mental in this type of sport? Um, for BMX racing, it definitely takes a combination of physical and mental. Um, you could be like the most physically prepared, but if mentally um, you're not there, then you could just like react late on the gate. And BMX racing is such a quick sport that even if you react just like the slightest, slightest bit too late, then you could have lost the race right there. So it's definitely a combination of both. Um, when it gets to the elite level, um, you do need to be very mentally strong. Um, that's what I've learned a lot over the past few years. So, uh, because a lot of us are very close on the physical aspect when it gets to the elite level. So mentally, you need to uh, be in the present um, and also just want it. And um, yeah, so, some days it's just like the matter of day. Like, <laughs> right? It, yeah, a lot goes into it physically and mentally. So do you think about anything in that, you know, 30 to 40 seconds or let's imagine you probably don't think about much because there's not a lot of, not a lot of time to think. Um, yeah, people, my friends have asked me this before, what I think during the race. I have certain cues that I like to focus on for the start. Um, I'm not trying to think about like, um, anything negative at all you want to also you want to have the mindset that you're there to win so that is first of all on your mind like I'm there to perform my best and take just make the most out of the day uh, no matter what happens but also um, I like to focus on my cues and my cues change for each race um, I typically have like two to three cues that are like repeatedly on my mind for like the starts but after the first straight it's pretty much on autopilot almost um, because anything can happen after the first straight uh, it's not as like planned like a person can come up on your left a person can come up on your right so you don't really know exactly where anyone is so uh, you have to very just like live in the moment and trust all of your uh, practice and that you mentally know what to do when uh, you get into different situations. That's cool. So I come from the like the track and field background. So you see that like the sprinters, you know, they play head games with each other. I, do you guys go through that process of playing head games, or are there some that's better than others? Or um, I definitely notice there are some head games on the elite <laughs> level. Um, I try to just focus on myself because uh, that's all you can control. Um, I try to stay away from that as much as possible, but yes, I have noticed like some athletes trying to play head games with me, and I just try to ignore it. That's probably a head game in itself. It, <laughs> it is. Being calm and collective. 
But the thing is, when they're trying to play head games with you, they're like, you're on their mind. So you like almost take it as a compliment, then ignore it, and then just keep focusing on yourself. <laughs> That's true. Mm -hmm. Now I've been doing it. Um, I am 25 years old now, so I've been racing BMX since I was four. So it's been 21 years of racing BMX. And you've had quite a few world championships. Yes, my very first world championship was when I was nine years old. Um, and then, yeah, it's been a very long career and I'm very grateful for it. And you said um, 12 world championships? Eight? I've won 14 world titles, including, um, yeah, 14 world titles. And you, you said like you age out or you go professional or something like that. That's the reason why it's, it's a set number. Um, that that yes, so when you turn 19, you could turn elite. So when I, the year I turned 19, I became elite. Um, but all the, those 14 world titles are um, from when I was nine years old <laughs> to 18. So I still have not gotten an elite world title, which is like one of my biggest goals. Um, and then world championships this year is actually two weeks after the Olympics. Oh, wow. So this is gonna be a very busy year. Um, <clears throat> The Olympics and World Championships are both very big goals this year um, to try to do my best at. So you're coming in as one of the top contenders in the Olympics, right? Yes, I am up there. Yes. <laughs> very, very, very exciting. Yeah, it's been fun working with uh, Felicia, it's, uh, and she's going to bring her dog the next time. Yes, so. <laughs> our dogs are actually the like same age exactly. <laughs> so Evie's going to sleep. Anyway, that's kind of the world of BMX, so we're going to uh, sign off and we'll do it again the next time she shows up. And you, uh, well, she was down in Louisville at a track down there, which there's only, how many Olympic sanctioned tracks, is that what it is? There's eight in the country. Okay, there's eight in the country, so that's yes. the reason why she has to go down to Louisville. Yes. I and go that's because of the, the eight meter? Yes, the Olympic starting hill. Um, there's only eight in the country, and the first World Cup of the year is coming up in two weeks. So I've been practicing on the big hill a lot for that first World Cup. Um, I, yeah, I'm feeling very prepared and excited to go to Italy. And um, this World Cup is actually, um, I'm using it as kind of almost like a test trial for the Olympics to like go to a race fully, like mentally and physically rested and kind of just like execute my best. So this will be my last international race until the Olympics, um, which is very exciting and I'm very excited to race it. Um, yeah, two weeks in Italy, Verona, Italy. <laughs> That'd be nice. And uh, she has an Instagram account. Yes. She's got like 28,000 people right now. 27, <laughs> nine or something like that. Really? But that's pretty cool. So follow her. That's, uh, I've been following her for a while, so. Great yeah. videos and photos. So I'm gonna try to post some more stuff. I, I think I have some very exciting stuff to post. Nice, good. We'll have to figure out how to post this type of stuff. Yes. All right. Thanks.